What's up, y'all? Hey, guys. We're Embrace the Suck 21. Yes, we are. I'm Spencer. And I'm Daniel. We are on part seven of the Try Not to Laugh on the Graham Norton Show yes. series. Come on. There's no need for an explanation. But Graham Norton, I'm coming for your Eurovision Ooh, uh, crown that's right. here. The gauntlet has been thrown in the ring. Exactly. If you know, you know on the SJ Music yes. channel. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's do it. Three, two, one. The, the big thing fans are, of course, is fan art. And Sarah Pascoe, I know you have oh. had that accolade of uh, people sending you fan art. I mean, yeah. So I've got one piece, and I think fan art is a strong word. Um, <laughs> so we, so we've got a picture. Should we have see you? it first? Yes, OK. So, okay. so, so it's, it's of me. I and actually, it's worth saying yes. that it's all of you. <laughs> it's of yeah. me. It is. Well, this is the, the fan art of Sarah Pascoe. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit right Love that. there. Strong, strong chin bone. <laughs> got, gotta love that. Uh, definition. Yep. Now, the reason I think fan art is a very loose term is I was given this at a gig in lieu of payment. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to brag about my career. Yeah. <laughs> well. But that's because the guy who ran the gig had spent too much at the bar. <laughs> To uh, paint me, so. He painted that? Yes. <laughs> okay, after being at the bar. Of me. Yeah. <laughs> what are those bits? I just think they're just free biscuits. <laughs> Donuts or something. Have you been sent pictures of people who tattooed your face on their bodies? Oh, no, I'm not there yet. <laughs> oh. have, you, have you got yeah. that? One day. Yeah. That's, I, I get them in my Twitter feed all the time. These guys who have whole calves, the calves, or a picture of jewels on their chest, or wow. Nick Fury. It's kind you of know, crazy. People love the event. And now, Tom Hiddleston, you have fan art, but such specific fan art. This is a lot, yeah. And uh, does it all come from this one scene? It, was it the first Thor movie with the spear? Oh, right, right, <laughs> yeah. Yes, um, there's, a, there's a scene in the first Thor film where my, I'm trying to attack Thor, Chris Hemsworth as Thor, with a spear. And I jump in the air, and he, do he dodges out the way, and I bring the spear down, and it wedges itself into the floor. And then I use, the, use it to spin myself around and kick him in the chest, <clears throat> which has been interpreted by fans as um, a demonstration of my hidden talent at pole dancing. Pole dancing! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, um, and seriously, there's so much of this. This is just mm. one example of Loki really going for it on the pole. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, look uh, at that. How embarrassing. Thank, what? <laughs> you downloaded the wrong Avengers movie, bud. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's, wow. that's a bootleg version right yep. there. <laughs> My God. Good God, man. <laughs> Is that Japanese? By and that's chance? what you wear in the movie. Have you yeah, <laughs> I mean, not seen it? No. Yeah, that's Loki's outfit. Yeah, yeah. Right, so I've never, I've Maybe. not seen that one. Oh really? Um, oh, we'll print it out. You can take it yeah. home. <laughs> Wow. Uh, very quickly, it is uh, Oscars weekend, this mm. weekend, and uh, Ian, would you mind telling us the story about when you were nominated for uh, Gandalf, oh, yeah. and you had the, the beads? Yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, they weren't beads. Uh, in in, in uh, New Zealand, where we filmed uh, Lord of the Rings, uh, I... You, 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 if you're lucky, when you leave, you're, you're given a piece of green stone, carved, and you wear it often enough, uh, and your chances are that you'll get back to New Zealand. That's the idea. And it will bring you a bit of luck. So, uh, when those films were nominated for something like 20 Oscars, uh, on <laughs> that, like, everybody brag. from New Zealand was wearing the green stone, the punami, they're called. Uh, and when we're on the red carpet going into the ceremony, I met Maggie Smith. Mm, hello, what are, you, what are you here for? I said, well... Uh, <laughs> <coughs> that is a very accurate Maggie Smith, by the way. <laughs> yep. I mean, he, he is an actor. He has to be able to do some impressions. <sighs> Maggie Smith. Yeah. She's, a, she's a dame, right? Was she damed? Yeah. Like, like sir... Like knighted? I think so, yeah. She's, I mean, she's also in Sister Act and McGonagall. Yes. So that's just as high up there. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's not forget Sister Act. Like, <laughs> I'm going to get roasted so hard uh, for that. Do you recognize this uh, episode, by the way? That's when um, yep. Patrick Stewart had his circumcision story. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I said, well, Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. She said, what's that round your neck? Oh, so it's my punami, Maggie. <laughs> I own your punami. What's that for? I said, well, it, uh, if I wear it, it'll, it'll bring me luck. And, uh, oh, very nice. <laughs> and we went our separate ways. And, you know, it lasts for three and a half or four hours. Yeah. You know, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, God, you sit there and sit there. And at the end, of course, everyone else wins the Oscar apart from you. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit dejected, you're coming out looking forward to a drink, and you bump into Maggie Smith, and she points out at you, and she says, it didn't work, did it? <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Carol Thatcher, and now, so how much preparation goes into? Well, obviously you put a nose on. I did have a nose. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But what else goes on, preparing for Carol Thatcher? I should make up some shit for them. <laughs> uh, I watched I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. <laughs> Um, but it, now, but when you're playing it at something like a detective, do you do like for Broadchurch? Did you do preparation? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, David did, and I could ask him questions. <laughs> it, it seems silly doubling up. <laughs> I, I, to defend my actions, um, I don't think my character spoke in the same sort of. Um, rhythms as detectives, so I thought it'd be better if I didn't have that influence. <laughs> nice. Good, good answer. Do you dance a lot, though? Yes, thank you for saving me. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and in that. Um, uh, well, uh, Nick Frost is the lead guy, and uh, he, uh, as a child... Oh, no, I'm his sister. That's it, I'm his sister. And, um, I'll remember. As, thank you. <laughs> and as children, uh, he was salsa champion, endless cups and awards and things, and we used to go off and do competitions and I was his dance partner and then something happened and his life changed and salsa wasn't for him after that moment and then cut to uh, Nick Frost present day uh, or whatever his character's called and um, <laughs> he's called Bruce oh <laughs> <laughs> wow. New Noro movie no. I love that <laughs> hey give a chance to plug the movie uh, I think I'm in it yeah. I don't know yeah, yep. I don't even know what I did to prepare. <laughs> great. But that was a great answer, by the way. Yeah. Like, oh, I didn't feel like my character needed to to get into that rhythm. Yeah, how <laughs> genius. That, that's that's some confidence as yeah. a, an actor or any profession, honestly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe people are applauding you for remembering the names of people in your own it film. It was ages! Oh, <laughs> you know this feeling. You filmed something year or no, two Nelson years Mandela. Ago. <laughs> yeah. And I know we know you're not into big you're not in big preparation, but you must have had some dance. We lessons. had to, I was forced to. Um, because I had to dance on screen. So I had to practice. Do you look good though? Well, there is as you know, they have people who actually can dance. Yeah. Who, because uh, I can only spin three times before I vomit. So. <laughs> <laughs> we, do, we do have a picture of you in rehearsals where it doesn't look like it's going that well. It's <laughs> 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 the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I also love that you're wearing like a full sweatsuit and heels. <laughs> What did you perform at? You performed at a seafood festival? I mean, which, which, which shit show you want to know about? There's a lot of Kevin Hart shit shows. So yeah. just take your pick. Oh. They wanted, was it crab? I had a, I had a crab fest. That <laughs> <laughs> What's a crab fest? Listen, what is you, that? In the beginning of the stand-up comedy, <laughs> you're, not, you're not performing in, in luxury, you know, venues. They, <laughs> wherever they feel that they can build the stage and make money is where you're going. So there was a crab fest. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, we're going to book some talent. <laughs> some comedian talent. And I was like, all right, well, you know, I'm available. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to tell a joke while people cracking crabs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the best environment. Uh, I mean, yeah, as hey, Marylanders, very very we true. can attest. Yeah, um, when you sit down for a crab feast, 
you're not thinking about, you know, jokes or anything. No. Maybe some live music. That'd be all right. But yeah. a comedian? Nah, not really. You're focusing on the present. Mm-hmm. The, right in front of you. Yeah, the the 8-inch, 10-inch <clears throat> present yep. right in front yep. of you. <laughs> Man. With some vinegar or some butter and a lot of Old Bay, some beer, some corn. Need I say more? No, I, I don't think they understand. Probably not. Probably not. You got to be from here. Yeah, exactly. Literally, the frustration that comes from not being able to open a crab is silly. And you're not funny at the same time. The stuff that you hear. I remember hearing a woman, oh an older lady, who was like, she was cracking crabs. Because <laughs> this is how you crack crabs. Accurate. I looking at me and she's like, cracking a crab. And I tell a joke and the joke doesn't work. And I remember this lady just going, oh, no. <laughs> much rather be booed. The, dis- <laughs> the disappointment that came from her voice and then so- oh no. She said, baby, it was like, oh no, baby. <laughs> I made a mistake with my choice of life. Like, like I'm not doing it wrong. I, I mean, you know, look, the the the, the hardship that I went through has helped I hope build me into the person I am today where I, I can take so much. But I, I've been through it all. I was, I was hit in the face with a buffalo wing. Uh, <laughs> I performed at a... Don't perform at around a, food. No, no, no. I'm going to my shows now. There's no food alive. Uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was actually a male strip club that they shut down for comedy for the first half. So it was, like, it was a bunch of... It was ladies in there. And, you know, it was just supposed to be us performing for these women that were riled up. First thing, I got on stage when they introduced me. And this lady was like, pull it out. I said, hey, hey. <laughs> That's not me. I'm not here for that. I'm here to entertain. These are jokes. I, I know who's got kids. I start, I start to merge into kid material. And then one dude from the back, I just remember this dude from the back, he was like, that's enough. And he just, he just threw a buffalo wing at me. And it landed, hit me, hit me in the cheek, a little bit of sauce, got like right here. Buffalo sauce is hot, so I start. I assumed that it was a woman with a deep voice, so I was like, who threw it? Who threw it? Because at the end of the day, I'm a man. I'm a man first. Don't disrespect me. <laughs> he stood up. And he was like, I did it. And I, I contemplated just taking my clothes off. I was like, That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, I Look, I've done my struggle gigs in the past as a musician, not as a comedian, because I don't have that ability. Oh, man. I've never been hit with food and knock on wood that it doesn't happen. Oh man, but yeah. Oh God, I couldn't imagine oh, getting hit with a food product mm. that people paid for. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's at a so strip- bad, I had to throw something. Yeah, at a strip club, it's probably just as valuable as a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Cause oh, you God. don't go for the food. You or- go for uh, other things. Or, or Hooters, you go for the wings. Yeah, yeah, you totally go for the wings. <laughs> it's funny, on, on TikTok, the uh, Hooters in Ocean City follows me. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's still one there? Apparently, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I, I mean, I don't have a exist. problem with that, honestly. Oh, man, I, I just, I can't believe that thing still exists. I don't know. Oh, my I God, I thought know. they shut all of them down. Yeah, it, I th- you, you would have thought COVID had killed them yeah. but no no god because men yeah yeah exactly yeah pretty much wow anyway automatic yeah, that was, up for that, that, was awesome. <laughs> that was great can't wait for part eight and i don't even know how many more we have left well we're here I mean, for all of them yeah i mean well graham norton you know despite the fact that i'm coming for his job <laughs> as eurovision commentator oh. he will be a staple of this channel yes Thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing, and hitting that bell and sharing with your friends. Definitely, guys. Till next time, wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. Unplug and do something epic, guys. Don't get hit with food while doing it, though. Never. Later, y'all. Later. Fellas, we can be that mistake. Let's do this.